Hello guys, my name is Alex Gomez and in today's video I'm going to show you my process of detailing and stylized character from start to finish. For more sculpting processes and 3D art topics, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified every week when I upload a new video. Picking up from my last video about blocking out Black Adam, we're going to Danamage our character. I'm going to use different Dynamesh than the one that comes with ZBrush. The name of this plugin is Dynamesh Master and you can find it in the Pixelogic Download Center website. Once you Dynamesh with this plugin, it will set up your tool into 1.5 million polygons by default, which is a really good amount to start adding details to the model. For detailing the character, the brushes I use the most are Pinch, Fill, Inflate, Move, and Smooth Brush. Make sure you work in bigger details before starting the small ones. Always detail with your model along the shapes of the character so you can follow the lines and the flow of the muscles of the principal shapes. Look at a lot of references of stylized characters and add those details to your model Make sure it's all cohesive. The more reference you have, the better your results are going to be. If there is an artist or a type of style that you like to copy, what you think is good from it and implement it in your own work, it will be good, like it's great. It's not copying like you adding other people's styles. Nobody has started as an artist with their own techniques, their unique styles. They always took reference from other artists that they look up to and they develop their own style, so there's nothing wrong with it. So keep following the shapes of your character. That is why the blockout is so important, because it will allow you to merge those primary shapes into the flow of the, your character body. After I complete the roughly detail of the body, I move to the head and face, which is one of the parts that takes most of my time sculpting. Sometimes when we're sculpting the face, our shapes are not gonna look that great in the beginning. They're gonna look odd and they're gonna look very funny and comical. But if you keep going at it, keep sculpting eventually, it's gonna work out and it's gonna and you're gonna see the results I have a new video coming up in collaboration with an amazing character artist I'm so excited to show you guys the process of the next character which will, will be less stylized and also because I have a reference it's gonna take less time than this one It took me a while to develop the face details and I want to spend most of my time on it. When I developed this character, I didn't base it on an ex existing design, maybe that was probably a mistake on my part. I just gathered a lot of references of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. I know it doesn't look like him right now, but eventually he's gonna get there. I try to stylize his face in a cartoony way, in a very cartoony way. He looks a little bit funny now. He doesn't look like the rock at all, but it's gonna get there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, so keep working on the face. You're not gonna going to see good results right away. It's going to look odd and weird, and a lot of people give up at this stage, believe me. Like I have done it, I have given up at this stage. That doesn't look good, doesn't look like it should be. But trust me, you keep working at it and you will see the results. Look at your model in every single angle and compare it to your references. You will eventually nail it. You will nail the character expression. And this is what is going to give your model that extra touch. So never give up, just keep working, try. And if it doesn't look like it is, just try again and you're gonna get it right. 
It is very important if you guys move the camera around, look at your character to every single angle and compare it to your references. Like I said before, it took me around 4 hours for this phase. So just be patient, just be patient and the results will come. Some of the techniques that I use to create the eyelids is to append a new sphere as a sub tool. I cut it in half with a trim curve and then I duplicate it to create the lower eyelid. Then I dynamesh and then I combine it with my master sub tool. Make sure guys you follow reference of eye shapes to see how the eyelids are built. Now I add more details into his face, trying to make kind of like his expression a little bit meaner. Moving up to the ears, ears are very difficult to model, and uh, I suggest practicing a lot. And once you have it ready, have a proper ear, you can even make a IMM tool, like an insert mesh tool. So the next time you're building a character, the only thing that you have to do is insert your base, base mesh. When you're doing an stylized likeness character, the best thing is to have a design already done. Maybe that's why it took so long for me in the face process to get the right shape. It's not a waste of time, actually it was really fun exploring the shapes that I could encounter and see where my sculptor, sculptor was heading. So after having most of the details ready, I start adding some colors to the head, to the body and so on. In order to have a vision on how it will look like once it's textured. You will have a better feeling on how things are going rather than just having it plain gray. I do poly paint the eyes and definitely it makes a big difference. It definitely brings our character to life. Working on uh, accessories like clothes, boots, belts, and so on, etc. I max the part I want to generate the accessory. Like for example, I max the forearms in this case to make the bracelets. I use in the subtool menu, menu split and then split mask points. That's gonna create a new subtool. After that, I see remesh it, I smooth, I move it, and then I dynamesh right after to keep working on some of the details, like the lines that go around the bracelets. Also, I add some colors to it as well to keep having a better sense of the character. After we're done with the details of the belt, we move to make the logo. And when we make the logo, we're gonna create a different technique than split max by points. What we're gonna do here, we're just gonna draw the logo with a mask, then we're gonna sharpen the mask to get really nice, sharp and neat edges. And after doing that, we are going to uh, play with the thickness of it so instead of splitting we're gonna extract and you can find that tool like on the, in our sub tool menu so you extract and you play with the uh, with the extraction and the thickness and until you get the thickness right you click hit apply and then you're gonna have your new sub tool there make sure after you have your new sub tool you 
clear the mask on your main, main object. Also, we do the same case as scenario in the boots with the split on uh, max points and in the eyebrows we do extract the same plane with the thickness of it. And that's all. Please comment below about what kind of challenges you have encountered detailing characters and visit my Gumbra store to download whole sculpting processes. Please like and subscribe and take a look at other awesome videos in my channel. Keep creating guys, take care.